Does your kid play Roblox? It's an extremely popular metaverse-like game that gamers can create and build their own experiences to participate in. It can range from working in a pizza parlor to creating your dream home or building a concert arena where you can attend concerts. Basically, there are infinite possibilities because, well, it's an infinite space online. You may have seen the news recently. This week in the metaverse, Roblox sex parties, virtual yoga, and metamates. Nazi sex parties hosted on children's game Roblox. Sex parties being held in popular online children's game, Roblox. As a parent, you see children's game and sex parties and you immediately think child predators and sexual abuse. You go into fight or flight mode and probably say, not gonna happen to my kid. So you disconnect the Wi-Fi, you eliminate the screen time, and you begin looking for your new cave home on Zillow. And while this approach is well-intentioned, it won't actually help your kid in the long run. So what can you do as a parent to help your child experience Roblox without the sex parties? I've got five recommendations for you, and of course, I'll give you examples on how you can talk about these with your kids. I'm Kathleen, and I make videos for parents on how to have the modern day sex talks. It's kind of a no-brainer, but play the game with your kid. Set up an avatar, explore the space, and begin creating together. Not only will this be valuable time where you show interest and actively participate in your child's interests, but then you will be able to progress at the next set of talks about Roblox with accurate verbiage. It will also give you the opportunity to see how others are behaving, what they're creating, and give you real-time teachable moments to identify and explain behavior that is out of context for the game. It will also give you the opportunity to discuss money and financial management since Roblox has in-app purchases and ways to earn Robux that can then be redeemed for real-world cash. Because the game is online, it's an immersive experience to a young child. When they design their avatar, they may get bullied or mocked for not having upgraded outfits, which cost money. They may experience peer pressure from avatars to buy upgrades or to go to other platforms. Talk about why leaving the game by clicking on a link could lead to untoward behavior. While playing the game with them, you could say something to the effect of. Just like in real life, if you were at the mall or a playground and a stranger came up to you and said, come on over here with me for a little bit, it'll be fun, it's no big deal, you wouldn't go. First, you don't know the person, and second, you know the rules of playing at the playground or at the mall. You don't go anywhere with anyone. The same goes for the online equivalent of someone wanting to meet up with you and sends you a link to go somewhere. It's unsafe, and you may feel like you know someone because you've interacted with them or you've seen them often on Roblox, and maybe it's one month or one year down the road, and now they say to you, hey, let's go somewhere else and chat that's not on Roblox. What do you do? Do you think that's okay to go with them? No, because you don't actually know that person. You don't know if they are who they say they are. So if you ever get a request to meet up or go somewhere with someone, even if they've sent you a link to do it, say no, and also come and let me know because you'll never get in trouble by letting me know these kinds of things. Your child is most likely unclear about what is online suspicious behavior. Detecting scams can be hard for adults, let alone kids. How would you describe suspicious behavior to them? This primitive metaverse-like world is designed for avatars to interact with one another. Therefore, suspicious behavior may be difficult to identify, may take place more than once, and it may not always look the same. Here are some potentially suspicious behaviors that could take place in spaces like Roblox. Continuous flattery. When you go online, there's an avatar that's always around and wants to hang out with you immediately. Asks you to keep a secret, wants to show you something, maybe even saying, but I don't think you're old enough to see it. Asks you to chat on a different app or Discord link, even though you've said no thank you, they will continue to push it. Asks you to meet up online or in real life. Asks you to send pictures of yourself. Parents, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, Kathleen, I can avoid some of this stuff if I just set up the parental controls that are available on Roblox. Well, let's talk about parental controls. If you have a young child who wants to play Roblox or is already playing Roblox, you may think everything's okay because you already have the parental controls turned on. Parents, it is not enough to just simply turn on parental controls and then allow your child to play. You need to let them know that you have turned on parental controls and why you've done so. Seriously, explain the why. 
Because if you can't explain to your child why you've put the parental controls in place, then it's more than likely that your child is not sufficiently prepared to be playing Roblox. To help you get to the why you're turning on parental controls, ask your kid these questions. Why would an avatar flatter you continuously? Why would someone always show up when you join the game? Why would an avatar want you to keep a secret? Why would someone want to show you something that they think may be inappropriate to see at your age? And with this question, you can transition into discussing Roblox's sex problem. If your child is old enough to go online and play in gamer-created experiences, then they would most likely fall into the intermediate age group and can learn about what is sex, age appropriately, of course. Because how in the world are you gonna explain what virtual sex parties are in Roblox if they don't know what sex is? Now you wanna explain what is sex to your child before they unintentionally stumble into one of Roblox's sex parties. If you're ready, you can say something to the effect of. I want you to be safe and understand that when it comes to online gaming, not everybody may actually be who they say they are online. There may be adults or teens who want to create avatars and then engage in behaviors that are inappropriate for young children on Roblox. What I'm referring to here is sex, and I know we haven't talked a lot about what that is, but you may hear that word or read that word on Roblox, and I want you to be clear on what that is. Sex means vaginal, anal, or oral sex, and people can engage in sex. Vaginal sex is the penis goes into the vagina, anal sex is the penis goes into the anus, and oral sex is the mouth goes onto the genitals, and the genitals include the penis, vagina, vulva, or anus. Now, sex can happen between adults in real life, and it can happen between avatars in Roblox. In real life, children are not allowed to have sex because it's illegal until you're an adult. But in Roblox, your avatar may be asked to have sex with another avatar, or go to a different location and watch other avatars having sex. There are no laws that I'm aware of saying that this is okay or not okay to do online. Therefore, I don't want you to engage in sex on Roblox or watch other avatars have sex because that is not appropriate behavior for children. If someone was to ask you to have sex in real life, that's not okay because you're a child. And the same goes for Roblox. Roblox has a way to keep the game fun and appropriate for kids. They have a reporting system. I wanna show you how you can report avatars for bullying, being violent, having sex, or asking other avatars to have sex, because this is an important way to keep Roblox safe for kids to use. It's kinda of like reporting bullying behavior or individuals who are trying to harm others in public spaces like schools or stores. By using the reporting system, you can help to keep Roblox safe and fun to use for you and your friends. And if you're ever unsure about whether something is reportable or not, stop playing, come and get me. I always wanna help you out with this. Do you have any questions? Parents, you can include your family values here around online gaming as well as having or watching sex in an online space like Roblox. So what are your family values around engaging in sex or sexual activities online? What are your values around watching people or avatars engage in sex in an online space like Roblox? Is it acceptable to do or watch at a certain age according to your values? Try answering those questions and if you have a co-parent, discuss it with them as well. Now, I'm not gonna jump into the porn talks here because we're not talking about sex work. What we're talking about is avatar sex for pleasure. Never thought I'd say that. But if you wanna learn how to have the porn talks and explain what is sex work, you can check out these videos. And if you're still here watching and this video hasn't scared you to go off and put down a deposit on your new cave home, go on and like this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm Kathleen and I'm here every Tuesday bringing you new videos on how to have the modern day sex talks.